What it do, world? Hey, Atlanta just can't get right, man. Everybody on bullshit. Everybody. The judges, the lawyers, the DAs, the prosecutors, just everybody. Everybody scamming somebody. It's all about that dollar in there, boy. But man, that's crazy, man. Still ain't going for this shit, man. They ain't really sitting up there having meetings and walking uh, Woody around and everything. Come on, man. This shit. This, and how's this? How's this case still going on? Man? Can somebody riddle me that, man? How is this court case still going on with all this, all this corruption? What? They, then you got niggas. Then you got niggas sitting in the window, man. Uh, 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 the door of the courtroom. Reckless eyeballing Woody, man. What the hell is going, man? Come on, man. The um, court to look into the um, appropriateness, Mr. Copeland, to my observations around your courtroom, outside your courtroom on breaks, is surrounded by several members of law enforcement in the district attorney's office and prosecutors, potentially other persons. I don't know why a sitting witness under oath is in a room with prosecutors during breaks, mornings, afternoons. It's totally inappropriate. There are people who are in your court's door. There's a double door where the court sits to its right that aligns with the witness chair and I noticed people standing there um, in law enforcement while Mr. Copeland is testifying. He's making eye contact with them. I don't know if they're his brother. My point to you is this. What gives anybody the right to surround a witness? He's not in custody. Um, and bring a witness. I'm sure Mr. Copeland didn't say to the prosecutors, I don't know this, Your Honor. So if you think I'm wrong, then just strike it from your memory. But I'm sure he didn't say, hey, you guys want to hang out in this room a little while? So I believe that he is being led on a tether by the prosecutors, and it is coercion. And he, I mean, this is his courtroom right now. They got to do what he say. They need his, they need his testimony. <laughs> what he got these motherfuckers by the balls, man, pause. They got to do what this man say. And listen to how he talk to him. It's just crazy. And y'all got to sit up there and... Because y'all don't mind what he say, long as he say he didn't kill nothing. That's crazy. Wow. It's wild, dog. But it is what it is, man. Hey, hey, Judge Glenville. Time is ticking. I believe you will be off, off, off the uh, case, man. There's no way you should be on this case, man. You feel bank looking ass nigga. You so corrupt, man. What's all what's all these what's all these hand signals and what's all that? Come on, man. Like, what are you doing? We know love is playing with them balls, man. That, we know this, man. Like, it, it took steel to come out and say, hey, dig this here, man. You let Nemo play with my name. I and mean, you know why they, he letting him play with his name? Cause love is playing with them balls. Pause. Straight up. It is what it is. But y'all know what it is with me, man. Hey, hit the uh like button, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm out. Interesting. I have no interest other than I'm a referee. Well, you're okay. the referee who spoke with the witness without my presence. Mr. Steele, we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna get into that right now. Well, okay? I, I, my so. point is how is he being treated here? And why don't I have all this? And why is this going on? What an unfair trial for Mr. Williams. Think about it. If you were accused, Your Honor, and this, and the judge met with this witness, with the prosecutor, and you sat next to me and Mr. Adams, you would say to us, what kind of case is this? Now he's being surrounded with all this law enforcement. My point is... Your Honor, we're going to object that this... I'm not going to be interrupted. Mr. Your Steele, Honor. Mr. Steele, hold on. No, but, no, but, no, but no, you're... No, you're no, Mr. You, Steele? You Mr. Steele? Yes, sir. What? Okay. I want to finish. Cut. I'm making a record for the court to understand. And well, Mr. Seal. I've never been interrupted in a court except for this one. You allow Well, uh, Well, you know, but, but, the, but the challenge is in this point in time is that some of the things that you have said at certain points in time are not appropriate. That's not true. Okay. Well, that's the, that's the, that's the courts, that's the courts. 
court is wrong. Well, you know, you, you, you have, everybody has an opinion and it can be certainly, it can certainly be reviewed at the appropriate time, right but, but finish up so you can go ahead and, uh, and make I'm your record. Okay. But it's your allegation and assertion, sir. Okay. So, well, we don't know that. We don't know whether or not they're true. Going on. Every time Mr. Copeland comes in the courtroom or out of the courtroom, he's escorted by a DA's office investigator. You see that? This court is observing. You're not just sitting there in a cloud. You see exactly what's going on. You hear the prosecutor tell you, we were in a room with Mr. Copeland and he said these things. Why? Okay. I, why do I have to bring it up? You should be bringing it up. This is crazy. This is like communist Russia. Mr. Williams is having the worst trial. So I'm moving again to stop intimidating the witness by the prosecution, leave people alone, and stop accusing. You've allowed the prosecutor love to accuse me of misconduct. Oh, but you've you've also accused her of of, of mis hold on, hold on. You have accused her of misconduct as well. And remember, remember what I told you about your professional response. Remember what I told you about your. And she's going to take me down, as opposed to you. So when I start talking, stop talking, please. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll I'll let you complete your record. Okay. I understand the one party talking. I got it. All right. Okay. All right. So I told you, you know, several times before. I told you and your colleagues. Remember your professional responsibility. Are, are, and let's not make this an ad hominem issue. I don't believe that either one of you are trying to do anything that would subvert your ability to practice law. It's so I mean, but. Love has intentionally lied to the court numerous cases. You do nothing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him, let him finish. See, th this is what this is what you, this is this, is, Mr. Steele. This is exactly what I'm saying. You can, I mean, you cannot. It is not a good idea to state that your brethren across the bar are lying. Okay, in, in any in any time or any way. I don't like doing it. Okay, but don't. So don't. But don't because you don't. Don't because you don't have any proof. If you have a, if you have proof of it, then you, the 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 uh, if you have proof. There's a mechanism mechanism in law, uh, and under the rules for you to submit that question to the the office of general counsel and for and for an investigation to occur. But please don't, please stop both of you. I've told both of you earlier. Stop making these ad hominem attacks toward one another. Okay. gets attacked. You say nothing. Well, okay, but I've I, I've said something. You you're going back to. Stuff that's happened in the past. So I, I, while I'm trying to deal with things that are current, so I'm t I told you all. You, they go under arrest or shot you with a shotgun. I don't want to get under arrest. I'm glad to be doing this.